Back in 2016, when I only watched a handful of animes and is trying to get into the culture, I was recommended by a YouTube channel by the name of Digibro, which is now dead, Lucky Star. So I gave it a watch, I gave the first episode a watch, and saw the infamous chocolate bread scene. And I thought, damn, this is one of the slowest episodes I've ever watched in my entire life. So I skipped ahead to episode 10-ish, where the gang goes to a beach and just hangs out. And I thought, what the fuck? I skipped 10 episodes and it feels like nothing happened. And so I dropped it. Lucky Star is a four coma anime. And what a four coma is, is that it's those four panel manga adaptations where it's just a comedy skit over comedy skit over comedy skit. Think of Nichijo, think of k -On, Daily Life of a High Schooler. Think of those shows. It's just pure comedy. And to be honest with you, Lucky Star's comedy is not even that good. If I compare it to how much I laughed in a show like Pop Team Epic or a show like Asobi Asobase, I can't even compare it because I rarely laughed while I watched Lucky Star. So why am I recommending it to you? It's because this anime provided me with so much fun that other animes don't even compare. Lucky Star is so, so cute. I can't explain it to you how cute Konara is, how cute Tsukasa is, how cute Akira is. Every girl in this show is so cute and just waifu material that I would look past literally everything in this show because of these girls. and. That that's why I think this show is one of the best four comas of all time. You see, a four coma is a show that is reliant upon their main characters. If you have a shit four main characters, you're gonna have a shit four coma. In k if Yui isn't as cute as she is, if Ritsu isn't this lovable tomboy girl as she is, if Mio isn't like this introverted, relatable, cute motherfucking black hair girl as she is, Azusa, who is just the cutest kohai and so relatable to have such a awesome kohai like her and i can't even start on moogie moogie is honestly pound for pound best waifu of all time according to some people i honestly prefer yui but again that's discussion that is amazing to make because both of these girls are just amazing characters lucky star is like that you don't think that lucky star is pound for pound the best anime of all time because if you think about it with a brain with saying that i need a story for this there needs to be character development there needs to be this there needs to be that you're gonna absolutely hate this show because this show is simply a four coma and it does its job but this show is one of the best four comas of all time as i've explained the characters are lit the references to actual anime although i don't understand it because it's like 20 years before I was born, but I appreciate it. Every time they reference Harui Suzumiya, I don't laugh hard, but I have just a smile upon my face saying that an anime could reference another anime. This is such a weeb show for weebs. If you have been watching anime for at least a good chunk of time, you know, and you understand the culture and you understand the problems with being an anime fan and trying to keep it on the down low on your normie friends and what have you, this is the perfect anime. I know that relatable comedy is a terrible form of comedy, but when you slap cute anime girls above it, it sort of changes your perspective in things, does it? These girls are drawn in such a impressive and exhilarating way that till this point, till 2021, it lives up to that. You know, I always have this idea when it comes to anime or when it comes to anything that art styles don't improve. They simply change while resolution does improve. If Lucky Star is aired in 1080p, this will be honestly a stunning anime, you know? But it's not. It's made in 2007. 
course it's gonna look outdated but something that just clearly just shows pops off to your head is just how konata looks while she's doing stuff how sukasa looks so cute or when kagami blushes and honestly thinks about her love life it's so cute and relatable and heartfelt i haven't even talked about the best part of the show and is somewhat criminally underrated because people don't talk about it as much lucky chattel akira and shirashi has an incredible chemistry with each other they are so perfect for each other with shirashi at the beginning sort of shy and then ends up being a total asshole to akira knowing that akira is this total bitch of a person and akira although she's just like a total asshole dude you can't admit that She's the cutest little thing in the world. Even if she has this sort of like bitch face, that's so cute. And her little frame with her fucking like overgrown shirt, it's so cute. You know what I rate this show in my anime list? I rate it a 9. I rate it as one of the best animes that I've ever watched. I didn't say it's a 10 because it's very tough to break into my top 3 list. But this is honestly one of the best animes I've ever seen. And I understand why it has such a popularity that it does. Because it honestly has amazing and cute anime characters with comedy that is so relatable even 14 years after its airtime. If you want to watch this show, watch Harui Suzumiya first. The first season, the second season, and obviously the disappearance. That will make a massive difference.